Hello and welcome, my name is Ahura and this is my Let's Play series of Europa Nacelles 4 where we are playing as France going for the better than Napoleon achievement. So, uh, we just uh, finished a war with the Ottoman and won that, rush of merchants, trade expansion, blah blah blah, gain an extra merchant, gain some extra tax, let's get an extra merchant. Where do we want to put him? Maybe we wanna collect up here, I think we wanna collect up here. Since he's a temporary one anyway. But as I was saying, we just won against the Ottomans and um, got exp uh, exploration ideas. Got our first colony and we're gonna get into our first colonial war. Let's just get it started. Right now I'm sailing the fleet back home uh, because I just found out that Portugal was still allied to Argon way, the back, uh, way back here. Um, we might take land from them as who who are they allied with? Maybe we'll. Is it only Portugal? Because then we're definitely going to be declaring them a co belligerent in this, this war. So declare war, co belligerent, take Baronas. And let's just do this. They probably haven't built any forts, so the all they will have is the. Um, sit him in here. All they'll have is probably the the fort for their capital. So um, let's go and make sure that they take Valencia first, and then up here, got a march down here. And because it's only a capital fort, I don't believe we have to leave more than five cannons. So what we'll do is we'll leave five cannons and a couple infantry. And then we're gonna move the rest of the army over here, deal with their army. Ooh, let's set them to Girona instead then. Don't wanna do a naval landing when we can just land normally and march there. And then we just split these troops. And the Portugal part of the war is done, and we only have to worry about Argon. Uh, let's go and take Valencia, and we'll do the, the split here. Take that land back so we don't have unnecessary attrition. And our trade fleet is still doing wonders for us. When it comes to destroying enemy fleets, let's just send them in here and take that boat along, get them repaired, go back to tr tr porting in Genoa, and let's build that freight fleet that we were talking about. Uh, let's just build it here. And we got all of the Portuguese land. No reason to. Um, To raid it since we're gonna be keeping it for ourselves. Of course, when you loot land, uh, it kind of it works the same way as autonomy. It uh, produces less tax production and manpower, so there's no real reason to raid land that you're gonna be keeping. Um, I'm not sure how much we're gonna take from. So if we take this. We won't really be suffering any expensive exp expansion over in Europe. So we may be able to so support, uh, afford a bit here. Okay, we have two diplomats doing nothing. They should probably be doing something. Let's get some claims down here. So we can make LCS happy by giving them land. We'll just give them the claims down there. At least these claims. Well, probably all of the, the claims we can make. So, Valencia is done. Let's send them to... Uh, isn't it Sicily? Yes, it must be Sicily here. Uh, just gotta take Messina first, I think. Still have a fortress on Malta. Let's just do a naval landing here. Uh, 
Uh, we got some A conversion done. How is it looking here? We are getting some Dionis. Uh, didn't know where. Do you want to stop on them again? No. We can just sail some troops up there if it's a problem. Um. Yeah. This is a bigger navy up over here. Oh, uh, 10 galleys. I think we'll still win. Might lose a couple trade ships though. Yes, we lost 4 trade ships. So that's not optimal. But I guess we'll live. Uh, let's send these guys to take Syracuse. No reason to suffer the attrition. Oh, no settlement. Gain one back base tax, a conquest against Burgundy because they took some promises that we already had. Oh, we just got a board attention thing. Let's get some more claims on Muscovy. At this point, I don't really care. Just get them all. Uh, we've got a. Uh, where did it go? Oh. Get it here? No. Oh, we had a an ally with a transport. That's why. And we can get the next idea. Let's just get that. Can I build explorers? Yay! Although we know a lot of the land anyway. Uh, let's get these. Let's actually just do this. Way it faster. Uh. Got some cores. And finished a claim, so let's start the next claim up. And let's send this army to Malta. And soon we'll have all of this. All of this land will be ours! Or at least as much as we can afford for aggressive expansion. So, how much could we take? So, if we start taking, oh, what happened there? If we start taking land over here, of course we will start gaining a lot of aggressive expansion. So maybe it's not really worth it. So we can take this, and we'll get uh, 13. Still a lot of aggressive expansion with Castile and Papal State. I think we lose about. Let's check. I think we lose about three a year. 2.4 a year. So it will take a long time to bleed off. So I'll probably, even though we've wasted a bunch of town now, I'll probably want to get them out of the war on separate piece, just get some money. And then we're gonna annex. Portugal? Bye bye Portugal. Um gonna make it all our cores even though I think it needs to be caught before it can turn into a um colonial nation. I think once you have a colonial nation you can give them territory that's not caught. Um but I don't think it can turn into a colonial nation. Uh, unless you have cause, uh, I guess I could be wrong. If so, please, please correct me. Uh, send these guys out to trade. In, in, you know where. So we apparently also dominating over here. Should we collect over there as well? Take the guy from Bordeaux. He's not really doing that much since there's only one place that can be sent anyway. And over here he will earn. Docket 7 or Docket 8. And oh, it's a little bit less being pushed in here, but since we are getting 100% here, we will definitely be gaining more money this way. We have a pretty nice income by now. So. 
next target. Uh, where did I send down? You send it off here to deal with the Dionese rebels. So what is the next target going to be? Uh, I think Clemson here. Only allied with Morocco, so it should be pretty easy. Uh, is this gonna fire? Probably not gonna fire now. And we have some Byzantine re separatists. I'm just gonna s raise autonomy down here. Get rid of all of this just by raising autonomy. Yes. Oh, gold. Nice gold. And we have bunch, bunch of money now. Uh, let's build some more trade. Oh, that's why. Because we don't own this province, so the algorithm can't produce it in adjoining lands. So it's just building, uh, put adding it to the queue here. Um, and there's nowhere we have ten conjoining lands. Uh, maybe lay like, mm, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do a seven trade. I'll just change this. Do a seven trade ship tape template that I can use in those territories. Um, Do it up here. Uh, let us just keep one here as well. Why not? And let's see if there's a buildings that will. Maybe we start building some of these more expensive buildings. So point three nine thirteen. This is some good ducats. Textile manufactories. Naval. So textile is probably the best right now. 42, yes. Build some more of those. Get some more money. Get some more power. Yeah! And let's get some more claims up on Muscovy. So, yeah. Um, I'm really annoyed that Bohemia got Berlin as well. We'll have to fight. Well, if we do take Styria first, if we maybe concentrate a little bit on getting closer to that now. Uh, let's take Bosnia, get a claim there, easy target. Then take Croatia, uh, then try to take this from Ottomans next time, maybe even take Styria. Then uh, go to war with uh, Brandenburg, take this land, you can also claim this land. Uh, then we can take both of those in one war and finish the achievement in one go. I think that's going to be a solution. Uh, we need to go to a war where we use some admin points soon. But everyone is mad. Um, Britain are still... They have been allied with Burgundy since the start of the game. And it's been really annoying. So we have a bunch of... Oh, we only have two claims. Uh, start the third claim. Um, might as well keep some of the land for ourselves then. Um, but I think I'm gonna give them one of these claims. Uh, grand claim on our semi something. I think I'm gonna take these two for myself just because I have plenty of admin points floating around. Uh, let's just spend our expense. We have a inflation guy on the on the job. Almost no inflation at this point. And how is that Catholic League looking at this point? So we have Austria, Papal State, Brittany, Munster, Commonwealth. Ooh, we have Commonwealth against Bohemia. Interesting. And they are allies, aren't they? Oh, they aren't allies anymore. Nice. I'm actually... I'm almost 
like because we'll be fighting Bohemia along with a lot of guys, I think I'm just for fun gonna join the Catholic League. Let's fight for our faith. Set this guy to trade. Maybe we should start some trade up in Ragusa. I think I'm gonna do that once I get the other two trade fleets. Um, I think there was the one. Let's just send them to you know, as well, and then the other nine will get in that war. We have five ships here. Let's just send them. To Ragusa you go. And should we move? I think I'm gonna move my trade capital at this point. Oh, I need 200 diplomatic power. Um, are you ever gonna, ever gonna rebel? Maybe we'll re rebel if we move this guy out. And there is a... 5.6% chance instead. Uh, just cause less aggressive expansion impact, very nice. And let's just start this war then. Put a general in charge here. Uh, Robber Barons. The Burgoese are concerned with the great influence of the nobility in our state. They claim too many lower members of the nobility are disregarding the peace and law of the land using their position of power and the lands they hold to take up unreasonable tolls and taxes for traders passing by. Some are even said to attack and waylay merchants, robbing or extorting them for their money. Representatives of the French Burgoese now claim that the economic development of our country is held back by these excesses. The nobility, on the other hand, argue that they are simply charging reasonable for the use of their road properly. Some are however willing to uh, give the state a part of the share that they take. So we can gain a base tax, uh, gain some loyalty with the nobility and lose with the Burgoese, so this is just a matter of math. We can best afford to lose with them, so we're gonna do that. Uh, and I'm gonna put a guy in charge of this army. And then we're gonna declare the war. And we have maximum al administrative points. Um, so let's use some of those. Um, and let's attack. Probably even have. Uh, yeah, we're gonna sail these guys over and invade in. And Fess, I think. Just sail them out here to get around the fort. Colonial Adventures. With the discovery of the new world, we have ended what looks like our greatest period of prosperity. Despite the immense wealth returning to us, allowing Louis the Thirteenth to finance one of the most outstanding armies in the world, we have not been successful in creating a strong naval force and his attempt to conquer the neighboring states has so far failed miserably. So we can invade vest in the naval force, somehow making it more expensive, or uh, maybe at this armament. I think we're gonna do this. It's only for 10 years and we're not gonna be building, getting it for 6 years anyway, so we're probably just gonna be focused on our ideas anyway, so, so let's just do that. Um, Again, we can invest ahead of time. Let's not waste manpower. Are they in another war? Yeah, they're also in a war with Tunis, which is why I haven't seen their army. Again, we lost ships because the trading fleet is taking, taking battles. Let's go and deal with that fleet so we don't do that again. And these guys should join the Rakusa fleet.
by bye maybe. Go back here. March into Fess. Then split off the guys so we can don't have so much attrition. Go there. And I think I am ending the episode here. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, consider hitting the like button and subscribing. Well, it really helped me out. I uh, hope to see you in the next one, and until then, have a good day.